Anyway, guys, before my dad starts this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified to see the new video. Hi, I'm Kerry Too Smooth. If you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified every time we're dropping heat. And also, just so you guys know exactly who I am, I've been playing guitar for over 20 years. I played with the likes of Jason Derulo, Tori Kelly, Lettucey, Camel a Day. I've worked with the Black Eyed Peas. I've worked with a host of different artists. And I've learned that all you need is just a few chords in order to make R&B music. Now, that's not all the chords that you need, but you just need a few chords. If you learn some of these shapes, you can be able to play R&B. All right, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to be in the key of G major today. Today we're going to talk about the major seven shape, the minor seven shape, and then the diminished seven. So I'm going to show you how we can use those all together in order to make R&B music. These are the, some of the chords, some of the, the same, I want to say uh, the foundational chords that we use in order to make R&B feel a certain kind of way. You don't have to get caught up in trying to like do all of these fancy um, things that you may get from these different kind of books. I want to show you the stuff that's really going to make the difference. Okay, it's about a lot of times arpeggiation that you can add to the chord in order to make it have a little bit more girth to it. But let's just get into this lesson. All right, so we're going to make a C major 7 chord today. Then we're going to drop down a half step. We're going to do what? A B minor 7. Then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 3 frets up. If you're looking at the reference dots, it's the dot. We're going to play an A minor 7. Then a half step up. And A flat diminished seven. Okay, so we're gonna do C major seven, B minor seven, A minor seven, A flat diminished seven. So these are some of my favorite go-to chords that I like to do when I'm playing RB music. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fuse it all together in order to make an RB kind of feeling vibe, okay? So it's really important. When you're learning these different concepts and these different chords that you add these to your repertoire, you try to remember the shapes. Because in music that I've learned, especially when it comes to playing guitar, the shapes are super important. The shapes don't change, but the notes and the keys may change. So if it's important for you to know, if I say give me a major 7 shape, you know how to play that. A minor 7 shape, a diminished 7 shape, it's really important to know how to play those things. So it's really important to just kind of dig in into those particular things. So the progression we're going to do today is going to use um, a total of four chords. We're going to use the same chord twice, but we're going to play it in two different places. So the, the chord we're going to do twice is going to be that B minor. You play B minor down here. You also play B, B minor down here. So this is the progression. This is how we're going to play R&B music. diminished every now and then we don't have to use it every single time it's like a little extra flavor that we may put on it when we're going to substitute or not play that B minor chord so you don't have to use that B minor chord every single time when you have to do it twice the second time that you get ready to do it you might do it and then you play around the next time you may not do that B minor chord you'll do that A flat diminished seven so here we go is another example I want you to lock in so the first time we're going to play it using that B minor chord Only with a few chords you can start to begin to play R&B music. You don't have to have a whole repertoire in the beginning. So all you need is just a few chords in order to start playing R&B music. It's about the feel. Now, one of the things I talked about was arpeggiation. That's you playing. Instead of just strumming, you're picking out the individual note. In R&B music, I feel like there's a lot of arpeggiation. Most people try to just strum through the chords. You can't strum through the chords. Find yourself really 
being more mindful to arpeggiate, that's going to make a world of difference whenever you start to play. It's just the arpeggiation of you doing certain chords. It's going to really start to expand the chords out whenever you're doing it. So these are just some concepts that I want you to start to think about, especially if you're a beginner or if you're new to the genre and you're trying to learn, uh, I want to learn how to do this R&B thing. I see a lot of people doing it. I hear people talking about this, chatter about this R&B, this R&B. This is how you can start. This is a good foundation so you don't feel so overwhelmed. I want to know in the comments below, what kind of chord progression do you use? What kind of chords, like shapes do you use in order to start playing R&B music? I want to hear from you because I love to just get your feedback. So just drop a comment below. I'll read the comments below. Like I said, in most of my videos, watch this video all the way through because I drop a lot of nuggets and I don't want you to miss out. So review this video again because it's just to help you with the foundation. All you need is a few chords in order to start playing R&B music. I want to see what you guys got.